All right, so as you can see, we got a lot of stuff laid out here. Sorry for the background noise. I got the fans going because it's like 90 outside. Um, might even close the garage to try and do all this. Um, but soon Chris will be here. That'll be cool uh, for his help. Um, I have axle spacers to toss on. I have some coilovers. Thank you to Chris. Thank you to Chris. Um, I have the bump steer brackets, the bump steer, right? I guess you call them brackets. I might toss those on if I have enough time. I also have a, a Burke test pipe that's like almost brand new. I picked it up this morning. Um, might toss that on too. Why not? I have OEM exhaust, but the test pipe will be a little added sound to it. So yeah, I uh, got the fender roller out, so it's serious. We got to roll these fenders, relocate the rear tabs, trim the fender liners, and uh, yeah, it's a lot, but see how much we get done today. All right, so right here, what I'm doing is I'm cleaning out the quarter panels uh, before I start like the rolling process. I'm just working on getting every piece of debris out from those panels. So when you go to roll, you don't roll any rocks or anything into the body and it'll actually cause like a dimple in the bodywork and paint. And as you can see right there, super dirty. So yeah, make sure you do that. That's a wrap for the car. Um, as you can see, we've got it lowered. Um, we did the coilover install, we did the axle spacers, and we did a test pipe. I got a Burke test pipe from a local buddy of mine uh, that was basically brand new, so decided to throw that on. Um, I was gonna do the bump steer brackets that I got from Formula S, um, but I just kinda, got lazy and I was like you know what I don't feel like doing more we spent about seven hours doing everything yesterday me and Chris um, and then just now I actually lowered it a little bit more kind of got everything more even and cleaner looking like uh, I don't know for how I want it to look um, happy with it the fender roll went good as you can see with one of those rears of course the fronts are always a pain in the butt in my opinion and of, of course on the driver's side right as I just touched the fender basically with that roller it cracked the paint so it is what it is it doesn't look terrible I'm a little hard on myself about it um, some touch-up paint will make it disappear uh, passenger side looks great um, I don't know why I'm holding those uh, but anyway thank you for me last for the decals um, so yeah thank you to Chris for coming down as always, buddy, my homie. Um, that's it, yeah. Hopefully that's a decent video for you guys. But I enjoyed uh, filming it for what little I did. I, w I wish I filmed maybe a little bit more, but it was just, we were kind of grinding, just moving, and it's tough when you are got your hands dirty. I, I like to wear those Circuit Hero gloves, got music going, you're just kind of moving through things, so. But yeah, the car looks all right. Um, we got it done just in time for the deaf motion meet. So that'll be fun. Car will look all right. Uh, 
alignment Thursday coming up. So I'll try and get some good camber going. Hopefully I can do like around negative three in the front, two in the back, two and a half in the back without any scrubbing issues. Um, but yeah, as this video concludes, I'll do another little walk around video of how it looks. So peace.